So this full moon phase uh, is going to be pretty major. It's a full moon, a blue moon, and it's on Halloween or on the Witch's Sabbath Samhain. So there's going to be a lot of crazy energy going around and I wanted to give you guys some guidance and uh, information or heads up maybe what could be coming into your life. So before we jump into it and you pick your ace, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post tarot content, spiritual content, any kind of content I really want, honestly, all the time. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my Instagram. There'll be a link in the description box below. As well as if you would like a private reading from me, you can also find my email in the description box below. But let's go ahead, I'll hold these aces up for you guys. And you can go ahead and pick, I'll bring it closer to the camera. Here we are. So go on ahead and pick your ace and I will see you in your reading. First one up is the lovely Ace of Pentacles. So before we look at your Oracle cards, I kind of want to summarize what the Ace of Pentacles represents for me. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is all about abundance. It's about seeing material, like seeing your reward in 3D so you can physically touch it and see it. It's not like a spiritual advancement. Well, it could be, of course, but usually the Ace of Pentacles is very, um, it's the, it's the 3D materialistic things. So this full moon in Taurus could be bringing you a lot of abundance and prosperity in your jobs or even your relationships. Taurus is the sign of like abundance and self enjoyment. So with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, I'm really feeling like you could get an influx of money or if you've been like pining for a job, I feel like that could also be coming your way as well. But let's go on ahead and dig into your oracle card. So we're going to start with the native spirit as always. So we have Spirit Keeper of the South. This card is literally all about abundance and prosperity. Literally. So those of you who picked the Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely prosperity coming your way 100%. We also have offerings. Wow, look at that. Pretty little rainbow. And we also have Spirit of Earth. Very lovely. So what I really like about all these cards here is that the sun is shining in all of them. And with the Spirit Keeper of the South, the South represents summer and warmth and love. And I just really feel like this full moon is really going to bring you a lot of prosperity. If you've been trying to manifest something, I feel like after this full moon, you're really gonna be able to start seeing the fruits of your labor. I also feel like for some of you, this can be an abundance in like relationships. I feel like someone might be offering you some t some kind of relationship. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be love, but you've, if you've been manifesting love, you're definitely going to receive someone coming in, offering you a lot of promise. If they come in, I would I would say give it a shot because they seem like they're going to be coming in with a lot of uh, like abundance and a lot of love spirit of earth mother gaia you know this is mother gaia energy this is root chakra energy so the full moon in taurus could also be bringing you guys a lot of grounding a lot of stability which is why you're attracted to this ace of pentacles because you want that stability in your physical realm whether that be money a career a relationship you know stability means something different for everyone but i really 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 see that coming through for you guys a hundred percent 
prosperity in some kind. You know, once again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and applies to your situation. But definitely a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance flowing your way. This offering card is also about the universe acknowledging you and saying we love you and we appreciate you. We see the work you've done. So a lot of the times our manifestations sometimes take a while because we need the energy behind it. And I really feel like if you do spell work, this obviously, you know, is a really great time to do spell work. And if, you know, just spell work involving whatever you've been manifesting, do it again, really reiterate it, give it that power. So let's check out your mystical wisdom cards. We have potential, think big for your future, absolutely. Some of you guys, this is really coming through as a job. They're saying dream bigger, you deserve more, so dream bigger. We also have face your fears, release the power of fear. We have gratitude, be grateful for all you have. Then we have celebration, let go and have fun. And then we have owl, follow your intuition. So some more blessings that this full moon is bringing into your life. Something you've been aspiring for, something you've been really wanting is definitely going to be coming into your life. However, it might, it might require you to step out of your comfort zone with this face your fear card um, and gratitude. It might be something kind of unexpected, I feel like for some of you. That's why they're saying like, trust your intuition on this. You know, if it feels right, go for it. But if it doesn't feel right for you, don't go for it. I also feel like for those of you who have been trying to manifest something, keep being grateful. Keep being grateful for the littlest thing. You take a sip of water. I am so grateful to be able to have clean drinking water. Really, really, I feel like I just heard inside my head. I'm sorry. I'm listening while trying to talk. That doesn't work. <laughs> I just heard in my head. Some of you guys like gratitude is all you need for your manifestation and it's like i've been grateful i've been grateful but it's like really it's powering it it's it's like charging it up so just keep being grateful really this full moon is bringing you a, a period of celebration a time of release i feel like a lot of you guys might have been struggling for a while and that's why you have all these fears you've been in a lackful energy before you've been scared and you've had just i heard in my head you have just reason to be scared and afraid of your circumstances, no matter what it is, you know? So they, all I'm hearing is keep dreaming really, really big because this full moon, I feel like for you guys especially, is going to be a really big time to really set your intention for the rest of the year and even going into 2021. This, The energy behind this moon is crazy. The last time we had this whole solar alignment, um, was in 1944 so this is really powerful energy please take advantage of it you don't have to do witchcraft to do it you can just simply look at the moon and just say everything you're grateful for and everything you want to bring into your life and boom she will bring it for you the universe will do it but you you gotta not be afraid you know but for some of you guys definitely with this fear card i'm feeling like there's going to be an offering coming through for some of you guys where it's going to require some of you to really step out of your comfort zone, to be willing. It's, it's, a, it's almost like a, a test, like, what do you want? You have manifested this, right? This is what you want. How are you gonna go about it? It might, like, I'm hearing this in my head, it might really, really pull some of you guys out of your comfort zone, but your spiritual team has got your back. This is what you've been asking for. I just heard this in my head. This is what you've been asking for. So please don't be afraid of this opportunity when it comes, because once again, we have offerings. So someone might be offering you something, a job, a relationship. Maybe you've been online dating someone and you know they ask you to come move in with them and it's a really big deal, but it's, it's going to be okay. 
your spiritual team is behind your back 100%, but they really want you to make the decision. Trust your intuition. You know, this is the owl card. There is an intuition card in this deck, but this says owl, trust your intuition. So this is wisdom behind decision making. You have the knowledge to choose this, okay? So let's get into some tarot. I'm feeling like standard tarot for you guys. I'm intuitively choosing the tarot deck once again. Wow, I flung that pumpkin. Did you see that? You might not have saw that, but there's a little pumpkin behind here. Flew that crap. All right. Give me more messages, please. And at the end, I'm going to pull an affirmation card and some fortune cookie fortunes for you guys. Just because I felt like, you know, why not? Let's see. Are there more messages you have for my Ace of Pentacles people? What else do you to let them know? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, well, that card just stayed there. Let's check out this one. Let me split the deck first. And that one wanted to stay too. All right. First two cards out before it could even shuffle. We have the Knight of Cups and the Justice card. OMG, what did I say? You guys were just in your fears. For some of you guys, okay, wow, I'm getting a lot of messages and I just saw a freaking shadow over there. Um, okay, focus. <laughs> For some of you guys, this is definitely 100% someone com coming in and offering you something. Your Knight of Cups, you know, this man or woman you've been manifesting coming into your life, offering you relationship, offering you friendship. Others of you, I feel like this is a career opportunity that you really aspired to have and thought you couldn't have it. I feel like it's finally gonna be coming in and someone's offering you this position. For others of you guys, it's a uh, spirit offering you guidance, offering you answers that you've been looking for. Maybe you've been trying to really get into tarot and it's just not making sense. Spirit is saying, here, we're bringing this to you. We're downloading this information. We're helping you through this. And with this, it came out with the justice card. So this person offering you something, it is, justice it is return of energy for you it is the reason why you had to be fearful returning in a very positive way to you it's not going to be like the same situation for some of you it might be because it is a general reading but i feel like for a large majority of you it's not going to be the exact same situation it's going to be like so like let's say you got in a car accident and that really made you fearful and you've been working really hard to break your fear of driving that energy of working hard to face your fear, it could come back as the job you've finally been asking for, for example. So really, really trust this offering, this opportunity, trust it. It is what you need. Spirit says you deserve this. So now let's actually shuffle some cards and see what messages they have for you. What other messages do you have for Pile? Number one, Ace of Pentacles. What are more messages you have for them? Okay. I need to raise the seat up a little bit. I'm a little low. There. <laughs> what are the oh, okay. What are the messages you have for the ace of pentacles? We have the hanged man reverse. Yeah, so there's a disillusionment of some kind. High priestess reverse. Yeah, there's something being revealed to you guys. Something I feel very good. Cause you're not stuck upside down. You're like, like the high priestess reverse, it's telling me like there's no mystery behind it. You guys, you're, you're gonna know soon. Oh, and paired with the strength. Yes, it might require you to step out of your comfort zone, become more strong. Maybe you have to fly solo for a bit, you know? Trust it. They're saying you don't have to take this opportunity, but it's what you've been manifesting, for example. So then we have the Six of Cups here. So once again, someone offering you something. Could be someone from the past. For some of you, it could be an ex-partner uh, of some kind or an ex-friend offering you an apology, offering you friendship. Um, or, and I just got this message now. Maybe it's you offering something to someone. You're offering them love. You're offering them friendship. You're offering the job. If this is about offering something to someone else, yeah, they deserve it. 100%. They deserve that energy. 
you should definitely do it. Let's get some more on the ground here. Yes, yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. They just keep saying return of energy. What was stolen from you coming back. Give me a little bit more. Final little messages for the Ace of Pentacles. going to pick these up in no particular order. However, I pick them up is how they're supposed to be read. Shuffle them around a little bit. All right, let's see. We have the star card wish fulfillment. Ooh, yay. That's exciting. We have the world. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, are you freaking kidding me? Guys, what the freaking ace of pentacles? Whatever you've been pining for, this full moon is really going to bring that energy into your life. Holy crap. Look at that. What two lovely cards to have paired next to each other. We have the Hierophant reversed. Two of cups. Five of cups. Four of wands. And the devil. So, how I'm seeing this energy right now. There's been something that you have been working on, trying to get into your life. But I feel like you've been, you went about it the wrong way. And you realize that. And you're like, you know what? Instead of being sad about it, I'm just going to be happy and work with what I got and work on myself. Free myself of this oppressive energy. And that's exactly what you did. For others of you, there is definitely someone coming in for you. Whether it's you connecting with your higher self or a relationship or someone coming back into your life, someone, something is coming and being offered to you. 110%. So let's get an affirmation card for you guys. What is an affirmation? My lovely Ace of Pentacles people can say, on the Taurus full moon. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to say that. All right. Let's see what's coming to them. What is an affirmation they can say to bring all of this lovely abundance into their life? still. I'm going to read it to you and then show you the card. I am still. I understand that there are times to move and there are times to be still. In my stillness, I seek greater understanding. I take time to rest and contemplate. I strive for unconditional happiness here in the present. I am still. And it's number 12. We have number 11. I am focused. I am focused on achieving my goals through deliberate actions. I take time to feel how it would feel to achieve my dreams. I visualize my desires through a lens of love and happiness. I am focused. And the last one you have here is number five. I am bold. I speak my truth in a loving way. My courage to communicate my needs is powered by love for myself and others. I'm sorry. Uh, my... Wow, okay, sorry. Don't know how to read all of a sudden. I speak my truth in a loving way. My courage to communicate my need is powered by love for myself and love for others. I am bold. Wow, I struggled to read that. <laughs> and it talked about communication and I was struggling. So some of y'all need to learn how to communicate. <laughs> Work on that throat chakra, okay? And last but not least, Fortune cookie fortune. Let's see. What is a little fortune for my Ace of Pentacles? I want this one. This one. This one. We have. Think of how you can assist on a problem, not who to blame. So can you even see that? I don't even know if you can see it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to read it. <laughs> 
Uh, your career is moving more and more towards service to others, okay? And a person who trims themselves to suit everybody will soon whittle away, whittle themselves away. Very true. All right, my Ace of Pentacles, that concludes your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the tribe. And I'm sending many full moon blessings your way. Take care, guys. Hello, Ace of Cups. Welcome to your reading. Let's go on ahead and start. And I want to start with a quick little analysis of the Ace of Cups. So for me, a lot of the times, the Ace of, Cup rep Ace of Cups represents a lot of emotional fulfillment and also a lot of prosperity. You know, a, your cup is overflowing if you look at the imagery on the card. The cup is overflowing and it's also divinely brought in. So that's what I like about the ace cards in general is that they have a, a divine hand, meaning it's it's divine guidance. And really with this card, this full moon could be bringing in a lot of emotional fulfillment for you guys and a lot of prosperity. I feel like mainly emotional fulfillment though, a lot of emotional healing as well. A lot of the times if you're attracted to the Ace of Cups, there is a lot of emotional fulfillment you're searching for or you've been trying to manifest, whether that be a partner, a friend, or even more self-love, any kind of emotional fulfillment, loving your job, things like that. So this card for me represents Archangel Raphael a lot of the time. So let's get in to your cards here. So we're gonna start first with your native spirit. We have ancestors we have owl medicine we have prayer feather and we have eagle medicine so immediately there are tons of fucking bird imagery on these cards look Look at that, look at that. You have the V of birds and the owl, you have feathers here and then an eagle there. Tons and tons and tons and tons of bird imagery. So that right away is telling me you guys are ready to take flight. You guys are ready to start something fun and exciting and new. Whether this be a relationship, just some kind of fulfillment and you're ready to like soar and you've been praying for this. Uh, and I really feel like it's going to be coming in for you guys. The energy with this full moon is really going to help bring in this energy for you. Uh, a lot of you guys, your ancestors are coming in and really working with you. They're giving you so much wisdom and they're, they hear your prayers and they're like, listen, we're, we hear you. We're tapped in with you. This is good. Like we're, we're bringing this into your life. And also with the water energy water talks about your intuition as well and we have this e owl med i'm sorry owl medicine card and that's a lot of like wisdom it's a lot of intu intuition the owl often represents wisdom and intuition so if this has been something you've been wanting your uh, ancestors mainly are coming through and saying use your intuition you have the knowledge to make this decision so use your intuition when you do so and with this Eagle Medicine card, this talks about being really close to source, being really close to your spiritual team. And especially because this does fall on October 31st, the veil is going to be extremely thin at that moment in time. So they're saying, please pray, please, please manifest, please do what you want to do to bring this, this energy into your life because you can definitely bring it in. 100%. This full moon for some of you also might be bringing in a intuition upgrade. So if you can, definitely do some full moon water. Just put it on your, you can literally, what you can do is you can take a, a clear bottle of water, purified water, put it on your windowsill or outside, let the moon hit it. And then in the morning, drink it and welcome the energy into your body. And I feel like that will really benefit you guys a lot, especially because you have this, this water card here, this Ace of Cups. Um, for those of you that do uh, spell work, I feel like doing a water manifestation would be very powerful for you guys. So let's see what your mystical wisdom cards have for you. We have... It's like I'm fucking psychic. We have Archangel Raphael, provider for, of healing for mind, body, and spirit. I promise you guys, I don't look at these cards before I start reading. That's cool as hell. All right. So Archangel Raphael coming through, definitely giving you a healing and an upgrade. We have Illusion, Embrace the Truth. Sorry if you hear any shaking, that is my dog. 
We also have Dove, Take a Leap of Faith. So many bird imageries. What the hell? Do you guys see birds a lot? I feel like you do. And if you don't, you're about to see birds a lot. Archangel Gabriel, Messenger of Creativity and Hope. Yeah, you guys. All these birds you see are angels and your ancestors. That is insane. We have creative wonderment, follow your passion. And then we also have dragonfly, live life to the fullest. Wow. I need to take a drink of something. <laughs> this is crazy good energy. Like, I my heart chakra feels like, like like this is really good energy Archangel Raphael is definitely coming in to try to remove the illusion of something this is might be something you've been trying to manifest and he's really trying to help you take that leap of faith get you to really step out of your comfort zone and go for it some of you guys might be torn between pile one and pile two they have pretty similar messages so I'd recommend you watch them uh, I feel like they, they both intertwine. So I feel like if you're watching this, you should go watch pile number one or the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry, because th these are pretty similar messages. Uh, but Archangel Rafa Raphael is really coming through and he's healing you and through this healing, through this knowing, you're getting your intuition really upgraded and you're starting to be able to see past 3D materialistic things. You're able to really see the main goal and you you trust and you take that leap of faith you you know it's meant for you when it comes you know it's meant for you and then you have archangel gabriel coming here and it says messenger of creativity and hope and the next card you have is creative wonderment follow your passion so archangel gabriel is coming in and helping you follow your desire helping you manifest what you truly want from life helping you see through the bullshit both of them are helping you see through the bullshit and they're both helping you but mainly archangel gabriel is really helping you live life to the fullest enjoy your life dragonfly is definitely going to be archangel gabriel 100 percent dove is going to be archangel raphael but birds in general are definitely passed on loved ones your spiritual team trying to show up in your life so please do not dismiss the images of birds because this is your team and also i have this really serious kind of like feeling right now first pile i was like rah, 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 like all over the place but here i feel very serious and uh not serious but very like focused and sure of what i'm saying so i feel like this full moon uh is really going to bring in a lot of confidence for you guys a lot of knowing like i am capable i am going to be do this i know what i'm talking about I don't know, might be a specific message for someone, but that's what I definitely see. I also see a lot of transformation, flying high, seeing from a different perspective. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So since you guys have so much angelic energy, let's use the angel tarot here and see what other messages they have for you. What are the other messages you have for the Ace of Cups people? More messages for them, please. I'm so sorry. She wants to come in my room, so she's trying to tell me she's outside my door. But she's gonna snore if I let her in, so I'm not. <laughs> uh, right. What are the messages you have for the Ace of Cups? this is transformation you're going from this page of swords to this queen of cups i can't figure it out this queen of cups energy you're not really going this immature caught up in your head type of person you're going to be once again this cups energy very compassionate very loving very 
uh, emotionally stable person. Not that you are now, but like you're gonna be really in control of your emotions and you're really gonna understand where people are coming from. And through being like that, you're gonna have this very generous, this very giving energy. Someone might be coming in and giving you something. Someone who once stole something from you. Someone that hurt you in the past. They might be coming back in and coming through as this Queen of Pentacles or this, I'm sorry, this Queen of Cups and being like, listen, I'm sorry. You might be receiving a, a nice, and I'm sorry. Wow, okay. Okay, that's too many. Y'all. <laughs> okay, there's one card in here too. Ooh, yes, definitely a return of energy. We have the tower. We have strength. And we have nine of cups. So I feel like I feel like someone who really effed you up in the past is coming back for some of you. Someone that rocked your world is coming back, but they're coming back as this queen of cups. And you know, I'm not telling you anything to do with your life, but I really think they're coming in with true emotions and they really want to offer you a lot. And your spiritual team, your angels are really encouraging you to be brave and take that risk of it not working out again. I really feel like they've learned from their mistakes and they're really sorry for what they did. So this full moon, you might be receiving an I'm sorry and a restart on a relationship. For some of you guys, I definitely still see this as self-transformation. You're going to have this moment of like this tower moment. And honestly, for, I can't really gauge the energy on it since it's telling me that your spiritual team wants you to discover this moment. They, it's not that they don't want you to have a heads up because they, they pulled the card out. They clearly want you to have a heads up. Um, I don't feel any extremely negative energy with this, but I definitely feel like it could be hard because it's followed by the strength card. So it could be something that pulls you to have to be strong, to have to be courageous, but it's followed by the Nine of Cups. So it's ultimately for your best good because the Nine of Cups on the bottom, it says blessings. It's ultimately for your highest good. It is definitely good for you. It just might rock your world a little bit, but be open. I just heard that in my head, be open. Yeah, we have the star card here, wish fulfillment, okay. We have the star card here. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so I'm definitely feeling like Have you been really trying to manifest something? It's definitely going to be coming in. And it's because of all the work you've been doing spiritually, whether you know it or not. You've actually been working really hard and I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit. But you're really bringing this into your life. I mean, the star card, it, whatever you've been wishing for, whatever you've been wanting for, whatever this prosperity and abundance means for you uh, is definitely going to be coming into your life. You have a lot of angelic guidance around you right now. A lot of heaven beings around you and they're preparing you for a journey of some kind and it might be challenging but you're ready for it a hundred percent you're ready so let's go on ahead and get you some affirmations and some fortunes going what is an affirmation that the ace of pentacles can say we'll do one more give me one more okay we have Number 30, I am perce uh, perceptive. So I'm gonna read these to you guys, okay? And then I'll show you. My intuition is powerful. When I am unsure, my intuition is unsure. I strengthen my intuition by trusting it and responding to its impulses. I am perceptive. And then we have, I am aware, number 24. When I pay attention to my surroundings, I can feel, ap I can feel appreciation for everything. I see so much beauty in the world. Being aware means living in the present and fully experiencing my life in the here and now. I am aware. Okay, let's get you some fortunes. Okay, we have 
planning is the prelude to successful action. Very true. Your mind is original, creative, and alert. And chance favors the prepared mind. So you have two fortune cookie messages about being prepared, okay? So pile, pile number two, Ace of Cups, that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the tribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm sending many full moon blessings your way. Take care. Hello, Ace of Swords. Welcome to your reading. So I want to start off first by kind of going in to what the Ace of Swords could possibly be for you guys. So Ace of Swords to me is some kind of victory. And it's a victory guided by the divine. It's something you've been really aiming for really working hard for i feel like it's finally going to poof be there for you and it's going to be very victorious a big celebration for you guys so let's see uh what we got let's start with your native spirit cards first we have peace pipe we have smudging ceremony and we also have medicine woman medicine man so this is definitely something you guys have been or some of you have definitely been trying to get rid of something whether it's a bad habit or some of you guys it could be smoking because uh, we do have the peace pipe here and that was used for in native cultures for smoking either tobacco or weed or other herbs but some of you guys, it's definitely something you've been trying to cleanse yourself of, trying to get this energy out of you so you can start something fresh. For some of you guys, you might actually be studying medicine and it doesn't have to be traditional medicine. It could be holistic medicine as well. I feel like that's gonna be very fruitful for you if you are thinking about pursuing that path or are currently on that path and doubting it. I feel like it's going to be very, very fruitful for you and definitely worth your time. I also feel like you're being led and guided a lot by Archangel Michael. He's really coming through and giving you a lot of divine guidance, helping you clear out this energy, starting fresh, starting new, 100%. Some of you guys are also finally gonna be receiving peace. I feel like some of you guys have really just been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. And finally, you're gonna be cleansed and get that peace you've been aiming for. So let's see your mystical wisdom cards. We have Battle of the Blues, take steps towards positive change. And look, there's another sword there. Definitely Archangel Michael vibes. Whenever I think of him too, I think of the color blue. Uh, we have competition, some encourage and self-confidence. Look at that, there's two full moons on the cards that I just pulled. There's children, know that your children are protected. We have friendship, nurture your relationships. And we have memories, cherish memories of loved ones. Okay, so definitely some of you guys are being cleansed of an energy that you did not like. Whether it was someone in your life or it was you, you're definitely getting rid of that energy. And look, we have two tigers here. So definitely look up the meaning of the spiritual meaning of uh, tiger. But the song I heard in my head right now was Eye of the Tiger. That I don't want to sing it to get copyrighted, but Eye of the Tiger. That's what I heard in my head. Like, like finally, like your, your eyes on the prize, you're going to get it finally. The energy I'm feeling around me right now is very lighthearted and fun. Uh, and that's usually Archangel Michael for me. He's like my guy, you know, he's, that's the vibe I get from him. Like he's one of my guys, he's a friend. So I feel that way with this memories paired with this friendship. Um, I feel like some of you guys might've been hurt in the past and you wanted to say your piece, but you never got to. And there might be a situation where you're able to say your piece and Archangel Michael is saying, say it, speak it, speak your truth. Some of you guys are going to be getting in touch with your inner child uh, during this full moon. I feel like some of you guys, the energy is going to be projecting a lot of childlike energy, very playful, very fun. For those of you with children, this is obviously a sign your children are safe. So let's dig into some tarot. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the angel tarot. Let's do the angel tarot. All right, what are more messages you have for the Ace of Swords? More messages for the Ace of Swords. More messages for the Ace of Swords, please. What else do you want to let the Ace of Swords do? All right, 
Let's see. For the Ace of Swords, that is way too many. Let's see if any others fall out. <laughs> okay, I freaking knew. You see, because I know Archangel Michael, I was like, he's probably not going to put any more out. He wants me to read these. And look, he did. Okay, so it's a nice little chunk. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles control. We have the King of Pentacles, Generosity. We have the Five of Cups, Sadness. The Knight of Swords, Drama. The Four of Swords, Healing. And the Three of Swords, Heartache. Wow, this is very interesting. So I'm definitely getting like someone hurt you. It could have been um, a, a man, a masculine figure. It doesn't have to be, but that's how their energy is coming in is very masculine. I feel like they had a lot of control over you. A lot of control. Wow. Okay. I'm getting a very specific message for some people. You were in a relationship and it was very controlling or you currently are in this relationship and it's very controlling this guy or girl he they make you sad and they just cause a lot of drama in your life and every time you try to heal and move on and get over it they do something else or you just can't move on or something i hear i feel like some of you get accused of cheating and you're not cheating i'm letting you know now that it's your partner cheating i'm sorry i'm just keeping it real i'm sorry if this is not the message you want to hear this is what I'm telling you, and this is a full moon blessing because it's getting, it's cleansing. What did I say? It's cleansing that energy out of your life. You don't need that anymore. You don't. Now, I'm not saying if you're in a relationship, your partner's cheating with you. This is, once again, a specific message. Um, but, yeah, they are not worth your time. They hurt you. They do not help you. And that is what is important, that they help you, and they are not helping you. They cause so much drama and bullshit in your life. I'm here to tell you, please assess your situation and see if this applies to you now for those of you who this is not about that at all um i feel like you've been trying to control a lot of your destiny and you've been feeling defeated because of that but finally you're like you know what i'm just gonna release control i'm not gonna get caught up in my feelings caught up in my head and that's honestly what's going to lead you to victory is releasing control okay we have these cards here we have the king of swords decisions We have the Four of Wands, Freedom. Yep. Wow. Okay, I just freaking saw something behind me. I saw it again. Is it this? What the fuck? <laughs> I hope you guys can see this too. I see it right here. <laughs> I saw something earlier in one of the readings over there. Fuck. Okay. Two of Wands, Progress. We have the Eight of Wands Journeys and the Hermit, Angel of Reflection. So definitely those of you who I was talking to earlier about this being a relationship with someone who's controlling, doesn't have to be a boyfriend, girlfriend, could be a friend or a parent even. You need to make the decision to be free. You need to make the decision to have progress and go on your own journey, go on your own path and fly solo for a little bit. You literally have Decisions, freedom, progress, journey, reflection. It is time to put you first. I know you love them, but they don't love you. And they're gonna tell you they love you and they're gonna try to sweet talk you. See through that, that's, that's like nasty. That's nasty. I just envisioned like a serpent tongue coming out of someone's mouth while they're talking. It is lies, it is lies, it is lies. Please choose yourself leads for others of you <laughs> uh, i feel like you're finally making the decision towards freedom towards freeing yourself from these toxic traits or these toxic behaviors or even a situation that just was not granting you any freedom and your uh, your spiritual team is very proud of you for making that progress or about to make that progress and they're saying listen you're about to go on a solo journey and that's okay okay so let's pull some affirmations for you. Let's see here. No, I feel like I need to do a little bit more because 
they've kind of just been like giving you the tea rather than telling you what your blessings are. Besides the blessings being the clearing of energy. Give me a little bit more. A little bit more. We have the High Priestess, Angel of Power. You're definitely going to be stepping into your personal power. That is something that the full moon, oh my gosh, and that is why Archangel freaking Michael is with you to give you that power. That Archangel Michael is like the angel of strength. He's God's warrior in the Bible. So it's like you're getting this strength, this inner warrior, this like, like, I don't know, I just feel so empowered right now. And then you have the high priestess, angel of power. You're really gonna be waking up. You're definitely getting one of your full moon blessings is feeling powerful and going for what you want, 110%. And know that Archangel Michael is with you every single step of the way. We have the Emperor, Angel of Wisdom. Yep, the Emperor is super powerful. He's the Emperor, he's in charge of everyone. And then we have the Nine of Cups, blessings. Yep. It will be, it would be a huge blessing for you to gain this personal power and do what you want to do. This is also telling me that there's a bunch more blessings that are coming your way that you've been trying to manifest. Just right now, Archangel Michael really wants to talk about empowering yourself, okay? So, let's see some affirmations for you. Let's see if the affirmations line up with the reading. What affirmations do you have for the Ace of Swords? I almost just, I envision like Archangel Michael and then all of you guys as like his warriors. Like, that was fucking cool, that image I just saw in my head. I wish I could paint and draw really good so I could paint these visions I see sometimes. Not very good at it though. Anyways, let's see, let's see. What is an affirmation for Ace of Swords? Okay, these here. So first one up is number 25, I am worry free. I'm gonna read these and then show you. I release worry over things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to focus on things that are pleasing to me. When I release worry, I allow room for solutions to enter my life. I am worry free. Number 30, I am perceptive. My intuition is powerful. When I am unsure, my intuition is unsure. I strengthen my intuition by trusting it and responding to its impulses. I am perceptive. And the last one we have is number 24, I am aware. When I pay attention to my surroundings, I feel I can feel and appreciate for everything. I'm sorry, let me just start that over again. Number 24, I am aware. When I pay attention to my surroundings, I can feel appreciation for everything. I see so much beauty in the world. Being aware means living in the present and fully experiencing my life in the here and now. I am aware. Ah, Ace of Swords, I almost forgot to pull you guys a fortune. Let me pull you a fortune. I'm sorry, I almost forgot for you guys. Respect of influential people will soon be yours. Change your thoughts and you can change the world. And if it seems fates are against you today, they probably are. All right, Ace of Swords, that concludes your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the tribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Hello, Ace of Wands, welcome to your reading. So let's start first by giving a little analysis of the Ace of Wands. So for me, the Ace of Wands can represent inspiration. So you might be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of information on inspiration for you. Now, once again, this is a general reading, so please take what applies to your situation. But the Ace of Wands for me is like inspiration, creativity, tapping into that creative power, understanding uh, what it is you wanna follow for a passion. This card can also represent a job for me. If I am asking job about, I'm sorry, if I'm asking questions about jobs, I usually get this card paired with the Ace of Pentacles. So if you chose the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, you're probably hoping for a job of some kind, some kind to come in, and that's definitely gonna come in for you guys. So let's go ahead and check out your Oracle cards here. We're gonna start first with the Native Spirit. We have Dream Traveler. We have 
vision quest. And we also have spirit of water. So definitely feel like you guys have been searching for something of some kind. And there's a lot of water on this card. So you guys are going to be receiving a lot of emotional healing. Healing in general. For me, water represents healing energy. So you're going to be receiving a lot of healing. I also feel like you guys are going to be getting an intuition upgrade. I feel like this intuition upgrade is really going to help you see your vision more clearly. Uh, and I also feel like you guys travel a lot in your dreams spiritually like your your consciousness form is doing a lot of work uh your higher self you could say is doing a lot of work to make sure this comes in as you guys want and as you guys hope for if not better but definitely a lot of intuition a lot of trusting your gut on this so your mystical wisdom oracle we have angel of miracles open your heart and expect a miracle we have Opportunity knocks, go for it. Congratulations, Ace of Wands. We have confrontation, pick your battles wisely. We have dreams, believe in your dreams. Seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. Knowledge, seek knowledge. New beginnings, begin your new life. And we have dolphin, don't worry, be happy. So this is incredibly beautiful energy for you guys. I am so happy for you. Whatever you have been manifesting is coming and it's better than you think. I feel like it's not gonna happen on the full moon, but I definitely feel like the full moon marks the day of your new beginning a hundred and ten percent it's also very important to remember that new beginnings are a mindset so not only is it going to physically feel that way for you but you need to mentally put yourself in that new beginning space so spell work on uh fresh starts like road opener candles uh anything that involves like self-development or self-growth or prosperity of some kind visions tracking down what you want definitely would be good spell work for that i definitely feel like you guys are getting an opportunity you've been waiting for and this could be any way this applies job a creative inspiration maybe you've been having writer's block and you're writing a book or something something's gonna happen to where a miracle happens almost it feels like a miracle and it's like finally this happens for me and they're saying when this opportunity knocks don't question Go for it 100%. Even if it makes you feel scared. Confrontation, a lot of times when we fight, we feel threatened or scared. So they're saying, even if you feel scared, you need to just go for it because this is what you've been dreaming for. This is what you've been wishing for. And for some of you, this is what you've been studying. This could be a job opportunity like you've been in college or getting your certification of some kind in something and this is what you've been waiting for. But they're ultimately asking you to please not worry. Please don't worry. Everything is gonna work out how you want and better, okay? So I'm actually gonna use some tarot here. Get some more information for everyone. Oh my goodness, shot out at me. What more information do you have for the Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands. What is more information you have for the Ace of Wands? More information for the Ace of Wands, please. Flash of Okay, let's see what's going on for y'all. Okay, immediately we have the hanged man reversed. You're getting something removed, a disillusionment. And that's funny because you have vision quest as one of your oracle cards. So you're definitely finally going to see the truth in a situation or on the path you're on. There's gonna be some kind of truth discovery. So yes, we have the hanged man reversed. We have the five of cups. 
have the Four of Wands. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This was facing me. I'm sorry. I flipped it upside down. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So this is definitely something you guys really want to start. Something you guys have been looking forward to starting or doing. And you feel like you're kind of stuck right now. And you just want to celebrate and have fun and do it. And this is saying this energy is going to be coming to you. The ability to finally do it and go for it. 100% is going to be coming your way. To where you're going to be able to charge forward and love what you're doing. Whatever that means for you. Okay. Alright, lots of messages here. <laughs> we have... The Ace of Cups, very nice. You got both aces. And the Hermit. So definitely a lot of, because Ace of Cups for me, it doesn't just mean emotional abundance. It means like your cup is overflowing. And this Hermit card tells me you've been really working on this prosperity you've been trying to bring into your life. So your spiritual team is coming through and saying, yes, it's gonna happen. Because we have the magician, you create your rea your own reality and you realize that you've been working for it, you've been manifesting it and it's coming. For some of you guys, you might have been manifesting love because we do have the lovers. Some of you might have been manifesting a, a relationship that's going to be good for you and trust that this is going to be excellent because it's with on the same line as the Ace of Cups. For, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be coming into partnership either with like your higher self in you or a friend or a family member, some kind of partnership to help you achieve your vision, help you get to where you're trying to go. We have the moon. And then we have the High Priestess reversed. So it's like this blessing and some of you guys, you, you don't know what you want, but you also at the same time know what you want. It's like, I know that I'm supposed to be going this way, but is it happening? And it's like, yes, it is. For some of you, this is also saying on the full moon, you're gonna be getting something revealed to you. Some kind of truth being revealed because here we have the moon and then we have the high priestess. So if you're thinking about it in tarot terms, this is saying there's something being mysterious and there's something that's not mysterious. So for me, this is coming through as on the full moon, something's gonna be revealed to you. Something's gonna be offered to you. You're gonna realize something. Give me a little bit more, a little bit more for my ace of wands. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> Give me a little bit more for the ace of wands. So a little bit more, they give me a lot more. All right, we have the star. Awesome. We have the queen of swords. The ten of cups. Awesome. So let's start with this chunk. Definitely a wish fulfillment of some kind. For some of you, this is about a relationship, manifesting a partner. Know that that's definitely going to be happening for you guys. And it's going to be the right one. It's finally going to be the right one for you. We also have this Five of Pentacles, the Empress in reverse, I'm sorry, we have the Judgment in reverse, and then we also have the Nine of Wands. So this is definitely the ending of a struggling period. This full moon is really bringing in an abundant time for you. It's, it's saying no more struggle, leaving lackful mindsets behind, welcoming in love and compassion and happiness into your life, okay? So let's get you... An affirmation to say. What is an affirmation my lovely Ace of Wands can say to help bring this energy into their life? Give me one more. What is one more affirmation they can say? All right, that flew. All right, we'll start with this one then. I'm going to read it and then show you guys. Number 13, I am compassionate. I understand how important it is to have compassion and not just for others, but for myself as well. I forgive myself for the times I may have let myself down. I forgive others for the same. I realize that, like me, everyone is doing the best they know with the tools they have. I am compassionate. Lovely. And we also have number 20. I am discerning. I love myself enough to say no to people in situations that don't serve my highest good. I am discerning. Okay, and let's pull you some fortunes. 
Oh, and that jingle you hear is an evil eye. I have an evil eye in here. Okay, let's see. One. Okay, that's what I feel for you guys. So we have, step by step, you will ascend the staircase to success. Just reaffirming everything I said. It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. Change your thoughts and you can change the world. A lot of thinking and mind stuff with these. It seems fates are against you today. I'm sorry. If it seems fates are against you today, they probably are. So with that, I'm feeling like that goes with the discerning card. Knowing when an opportunity is for your highest good and when it's not. And lastly, we have... A person who trims themselves to suit everybody will soon whittle themselves away. So, my lovely Ace of Wands, that concludes your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the tribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.